And now, the news you need from hosts you trust, but shouldn't. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. News. With Jared Cat Puke Taylor, Dan D'Anthony Holloway, Ross Big Perm Patterson, Evan Jazz Hands Hafer, Matt Second Best, and sometimes Baker the Ball Baby. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Welcome to Fake News. Here we are, folks. We are live. We are giving you the fakest, most non-realistic news of the week, which also may or may not be true. And it's news you can trust. Yes. 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 Very trustworthy. Not only is it news you can trust, but... What are these hats that you guys are wearing here? Oh, this is uh, because you're a piece of shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't like sober Jared, so I had custom Wait, hats made. Isn't this a little backwards? Like, make Jared stop drinking? No, no, no. 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 Make, make Jared make drink, Jared drink, drink again. again. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. obvious. It's yeah. very clear what's happening here. <laughs> and it's clear that you're no fun without alcohol, and we're tired of it. Yeah. yeah. Right. I would have. I prefer 50 years of fun with you than 75 of you not being fun. That's exactly. true. You know what? That is, I can, I can get behind that. Thank you. Okay, it's up. like telling Andre the Giant not to drink. We all knew he was going to die at like 50, but he gave us his best while he was like, here on this who, earth. Who would like Hulk Hogan without the steroids? No, no, no one. one. No one. Would they you make know? a biopic I mean, We could about probably him? do without the racial slurs, right? Yeah. But the steroids, I mean, come yeah, on, it's Hulk Hogan. you could do without those, maybe. Yeah, you yeah, could. could do without those. I could have done without seeing him nude as well, probably. That is true. That I is don't know true. that I could have. <laughs> I'm going to be wanna, real on that. You want to talk more about that? About Hulk Hogan nude? No, about your need to see him nude. Oh, God damn it. Where do we begin? As a small child, <laughs> you look like such an asshole. I know. What, what, do, what do we have going on over here? What listener? don't we have like, going I mean, on here? I mean, look at this look. Like, you took the... You I went did. full Dan Rather. I did. Well, I, th- I thought to myself, you we're, doing, like we're doing hustle, a serious actually. news show once yep. a week. Yeah. Right. Okay. Super when serious. When was the last time that journalists were real? When was the last time that journalists were 1991? trustworthy? Maybe 88? the OJ files, 88, the I think. OJ case. Ah, that was OJ's 95. with tipped it, I think, yeah. where we started going TMZ. <laughs> I think 1988 was a, around the last time where you could wear a beige suit, uh, some wire rim glasses without any fucking lenses in them. Evan's jacket takes the gold, I think. That one's the, the gross. Yeah, it's a nice Evan, Evan wins. Yeah. Your hair wins. Are we starting best, best dress hat. on the desk? <laughs> oh, best <laughs> dress on the desk. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> we opening I, it up tonight, and Evan takes the I don't trophy. know. I, I think it's you, man. I like the cowboy hat. I like because the cowboy hat matches the cowboy cut. Of your but blazer. that's what he had on last time. And oh, if he dressed okay. again, he look. actually would have got a new. He would have gone out with his girlfriend and bought some new clothes. Interesting. Yeah. You're okay. saying he's got a girlfriend. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> it's fake news, man. Anything yeah. can you happen. You never fake know. News. <laughs> also, for the audience, uh, we're having a new segment every single news show. Weather with Topless Stacy. So stay tuned for that. Yes. Uh, at the end of the show, you're you know, not going to miss the weather. I can't believe we met weather. Topless Stacy. That yeah, was such a coincidence. It's super weird that her first name is Topless. Yeah, last and, name Stacy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. haven't seen that before, but hey, you know, we're into it. I heard that she is one of the best weather ladies, and the only one to be better than her was the um, Portuguese lady that wears very tight dresses. Bo- yeah. Bottomless yeah. Vanessa? Yes. Again, it was down to the two name. of them. We went with Topless Stacy, but you know it was what? close. Stacy's meet a lot of Media. Oh man, <laughs> Stacy's oh, meteor boy. degree. <laughs> <laughs> There's no cut on the news. The Stacy's meteor degree yeah. was We're, very impressive. Like a meteorologist, or what? <laughs> can we uh, can we make Stacy's meteor degree T-shirts now? What the fuck is yeah. that? Meteor <laughs> degree. Meteor. I, I have a meteor hear, degree. I want to hear Jared say the word meteorologist <laughs> over and over and over again. Dave, if you could cut that back ten times and just insert that with. Jump cuts. That would be great. Oh, we need to make Jared literate again. Hat. <laughs> hey, come oh, on. Jared, she has can a meteor you read degree. This hat? Can you even read this? I fucking can see hat? it. I can see it. <laughs> Got colors. Yeah. 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 That's all right. I miss say words all the time. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, let's get to the fake news, shall oh. we? Top story of the week: Lori Laughlin, aka Aunt Becky from Full House and Fuller House. Everybody and has an Aunt Becky story. They you know? do. And Felicity mm. Huffman, uh, obviously of uh, Desperate Housewives fame. She's married to the very talented William H. Macy from Shameless, Famous, who yeah. we all love. Uh, were raided <laughs> last week. <laughs> uh, their actual homes were raided with, with guns drawn for bribing college officials to get their kids in under fake scholarship. Yep. Thoughts? Well, here's the first problem. 
we found out from the release of information that the government was had about 300 people assigned to this case. Yeah, can you guys please explain your See, math? That yeah, you Evan did and yesterday. I did the math yesterday. It's about 1.2 million per month. Yeah. that the government was spending to prosecute this case. So, so we just estimated kind of the average of the GS rating, yep. how many people were going to be working on it, 40-hour work week. So rough estimate, 1.2 million a week. Month. A oh, month. Yeah. God. Yeah. One a two, month. 1.2 million taxpayer dollars a yeah. month. Yep. With a tactical raid on the end of it for bribing college administrators. I, yep. I mean, like, they came in hot. You're going to go fucking These lights. These are our friends, too. You're, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, I don't know, man. Like when you're when you're getting your shit on, like are you putting one in the chamber before you go in the fucking house on that? Like, <laughs> are you like doing a press check? Like, woo, things can go fucking sideways in oh, here, son. Man, She's gonna be yeah, dirty. Yeah, Becky could fucking flip the couch, dude. They should have went. They should have went at night with NVGs with bangers, and, yeah. blow, and blown Flash the fucking bang, doors, the doors off. off. Yeah. Flexed them, put fucking bags on their heads, and ran them out of the house. Like, why I mean, stop? if we're going for it, yeah, yeah if send it, do a full like, send. fucking send it, yeah. man. Like, so, they... so let me ask you guys, uh, like on a on a tactical level, who who calls for this? Who orders this? It's not the president. Like, no, who's the one? If behind anything, this? it was a high warrant raid with justified a sp- specific means of force, which the the law enforcement probably just that's their SOP and that's what they conducted. Right. God Whether that's justified or not, that's whoever the Yeah, but the, to, the to authorize 300 personnel in a case like this would have gone pretty far north in the chain of command. And why? Opinion. This sounds right. like a personal vendetta from somebody. It could be. The yeah. operation, by the way, was called yeah. Operation Varsity Blues. Yeah. yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Maybe John yeah. Voight was involved. He was super, <laughs> at the end of that movie, he got fucked over pretty hard, right? Yeah. I don't. You think John Voight was involved? I don't watch a lot of movies. I can't speak to that, Dan. Ooh. I can't. Yeah. And I can now, say if this. If you did, though. If you had watched that movie, what what do you think John Voight's thoughts are for being fucked over? Uh, what do you think his thoughts are going to be? I would, I would have thought his, his, his yeah. first yeah. thought would have been, Voight I don't want your life. I don't want your life. Yeah. That's, I, I, that's his first like thought. like an urban cowboy or something mm-hmm. like that back in the day? Mm-hmm. Or right? uh, Mission it? Impossible 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's been yeah. in a lot of stuff. He John was in Voight. Seinfeld. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge. He's also who, Brad Pitt's father Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, I don't give a shit about There's this. There's n- not other things that we could be putting this I, uh, manpower on. I think as like, a parent, you would probably care, but as far as allocation of government resources in not, that extent, not 300 it, people. Yeah, that's, no. that's that's a that's a little excessive. Like maybe one or two. Yeah, that's the I, only reason I work as hard as I do is so that I can bribe college officials to get my right. kids in case they're or fucking like, dummies. But what about like mm-hmm. violent criminals, pedophiles, things let's, like let's, that? Let's yeah, they don't a task force to go raid. Like, I'll, hard I'll dedicate on, my yeah, time yeah. personally would be amazing. and my yeah. own weapons to help hey if if you're blowing the doors off and going in fucking hot on some like child sex jared ring, from subway yeah. did they go gan- guns yeah. up on him that, yeah did or they, did they did, just knock on his door and no say, they hey, called him and he came and turned arrest. himself in actually did they ever mm. raid fucking neverland ranch no with that type of force no no, no i feel no, like didn't. the 82nd everyone should have jumped into the neverland they ranch should. yeah yeah that you're right great yeah Set you could have landed a fucking you know black hawk in the middle of that goddamn it's, place it's funner to jump though i mean did you see the 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 outlay of it from oh yeah it's crazy. from Google Earth it's of, crazy. of Neverland the real, Ranch Jesus. you should have just freaking hey hoed in tied a uh, shot call around MJ so he couldn't leave the premise put a fucking stack a little uh, circle around so he couldn't leave get all the kids out and then just just bomb it yeah you can do that I mean, yeah. look this I like shirt I'm, I, I visited simple. Yale where a lot of these kids uh, are currently going to school they got bribed in yeah but this nice. I got as far as the gift shop you know why because my parents were poor this has uh, <laughs> this has opened up a number you know? now. Today, this morning, lawsuits are being filed uh, against the schools for people that didn't get admitted. Ooh, yes. this is going to be... This is opening oh, up so a rough. huge can. Stanford students were the first ones to file a lawsuit uh, But they won't morning. be the last. No. Everyone is no. going to get oh, no, that. Now it's going to be... Uh, everybody's going to jump So on who's on the hook this. for this? Is it Lori Laughlin and them? I don't think we know the full details yeah. yet. So they had someone that set up a fake scholarship, right? And this may have happened in, at numerous locations or numerous campuses. So that's how they were getting the money in. They set up fake scholarships for athletes that weren't really athletes. Uh, crew team, yeah, specifically crew team, yeah. for USC. Yeah. And the, the kids had never rode or, or yep. were right. on the crew team. Yeah, so uh, who – Aunt Becky didn't do that. I doubt it. Like, what would she even know about That's funneling? a level of sophistication yeah. that, that I don't know if Aunt Becky had. No, that. I don't. Yeah, yeah, you know it's yeah. it's at a gala or something. Someone's like, no, I think I got, I, I, I can cover this Somebody for you. Somebody had Here's to them. understand the school system. 
Yeah. Understand Which means how somebody's done something it. like this before, yes. and it's going to get uncovered through this investigation. Well, realistically, yeah. I'm sure Aunt Becky just wanted to get her kid into a college. So yeah. it was out of good faith in her own stance, but um, yeah. obviously the the campus definitely is doing something. I'm just shit. saying this right now. Should we be looking at all crew teams across the United States right now? Yeah, because who rose crew? Ross already does. Yeah. He spends a lot of time mm. looking at the male crew teams across the United States. A lot States. of time. I've, I've, got, I've got my own charity Who's called your Fathers favorite? Without Boundaries, <laughs> and that's where I help out young 18-year-old males, and it's just, I pull them in, they're 18. <laughs> this is how you hold that lacrosse thingy. Yeah. I don't even know what it's oh, called. You're a such a mentor. <laughs> you're the hero we need, Ross. I'm yeah. also the hero it's called yeah. Ross without boundaries. I'm also, yeah. I'm also the hero we deserve. You help apply, you know, suntan lotion to the row team at Stanford. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, the crew skin team is in the sun real. a lot. SPF that you can really given, move in. You're given shirtless you. briefings. He, he runs <laughs> a he runs a little place called the Crew Time Ranch out there. <laughs> you to his house. Ranch. He's got you mock. Know? He's got mock boats and rows. Yeah. You know? I've got a little sun They're in my like hair that. today. It just looks like a great. twin mattress. It just looks like a twin mattress. He holds he holds a Friday evening guy. That he calls boats and rows. I want to stop you. I want to stop you right there. Is it gala or gala? I'm a gala guy. You, you know, I say gala. Do you go? I don't do you know. Gala? Does it look like gala. I've ever been? Gala. I say gala. In gala. But not not gala, to... like he's saying. He's retarded. Gala. <laughs> I say gala. Gala or gala are both acceptable. Nothing he says. He said crayons, like crayons, not crayons. I thought he said gallo, Crayon. like he was talking about hanging yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. You're the, the worst. Gala. You need to go to like hooked on phonics. Ah, uh, there no, it is. It is gala. It is no, gala. I it don't. Is that's gala. one method. How do you know that's not you know the Roman pronunciation? We're not For even the using audience those at home, anymore. Dave has pulled it up in front of us. It's Those gala. Are, that is uh, <laughs> that language, Latin or whatever that everybody used to speak. <laughs> Great. The, the dead language, you mean? That's Latin? Yeah. 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 I took Latin in high school. Yeah. All why? Right. Have you ever used it? Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you ever I know some into like, words that, that were Latin? derived from, you know, Wait, Latin. is that, are they speaking Latin? Yeah. Well, Latinos speak speak fluent Latin, right? No. that's why they all no, go by Latinos. Not at all. Not at all. It's because they're from that's, Latin America. That's a yeah. formage. Uh, but hey, you know what? That's a formage of Spaniardism. But Spain is still Latin. You're like you're Latino, it's right? No, Spaniardism. that's Hispanic. Uh, is it really? Yes. Why Hispanic. do we call Mexicans Hispanic? Because they're of Hispanic origin. How to like, learn about culture. Fake <laughs> exactly. news. Fake news. Fake None of that news. is real. I feel like is there a wall between us and Spain right now? That's my concern. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, there is. There is. let's build a wall. It's the ocean. No, let's build it's a, a wall in wall. the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, let's build an under ocean wall. Build it, an under ocean wall so they don't swim or across Sp- the Atlantic. Spaniard submarines yeah. a threat. We don't want foreign fish coming in from other yeah. territories. Under the foreign cod. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, there right. we go God again. Fucking yeah. damn it. Uh, speaking of, of Hispanics, the next one is uh, Beto. Uh, <laughs> oh announced that he is running for president. I'm sorry. Let me let me stop right there. You mean in Robert, 2020? Robert O'Rourke. Nope. It's Beto uh, or Beto, as is a lot of people. Beto. Are, yeah. Beto are, are calling oh. him. He announced on the cover of Vanity Fair with a shoot by Annie Leibovitz, one of the best in the biz. But the sad dog that was with him on the cover and in all. All, all, inside the magazine and all the shoots really stole the show here. Dave, can you pull up that sad dog? It looks like Bronco. It looks like your dog. Oh, it does yeah. look oh, like does. Bronco. Oh, Holy looks shit. Sad. Yeah, it looks really sad. Yeah, he's like, so hey, a lot I'm of people gonna... are asking themselves, what is... should we really elect a man whose dog is this fucking sad? I mean, would you elect Dave? Fuck no, no. No, no I wouldn't. Exactly. How sad Bronco is. <laughs> I wouldn't. Look at that. that look at the two of them. sad dog. God damn yeah. it. That dog looks like he wants to kill himself. That is one yeah. sad dog. That dog I'll has tell you, PTSD Here's my sure. opinion on Beto. If I had to fight Forrest Griffin and Rampage Jackson, yeah. and I had to pick between my five-year-old Charlotte and Beto as a fighting partner, I would pick Charlotte over that. Okay. okay. That's right. that's Beto is, is the equivalent of a 10-year-old little girl. I'm mildly concerned with your parenting when you would let a professional cage fighter fight your five-year-old, but solid metaphor. I think she would do young. more help than Beto would. Well, Forrest has cats now, so I think he would be fine. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't a trust, lot of, I don't trust his any man with cats. a lot of cats. I don't trust Forrest, a man with Forrest cats, has been you? posting a lot of pictures with his cats Not a single man. Lately. <laughs> Not a single man. If you're married <laughs> and the wife wanted, I get it. Sometimes people buy like pigs and other things. Their wife course them into it. But if you're a single man with like plus two cats... You're on my radar, dude. Uh, You're on my radar. Mine's What's your radar, though? 
Uh, well, you can switch the one that, that, that goes R to a G. Boop. It's the gaydar. Um, because that's look, a man with cats, you're pretty much sucking your own dick at that point. Sorry, <laughs> Forrest. That's not I gay, love them. though. No, it's not gay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're at home pl- playing with your cat, sucking your own dick, and then you're living your life. Like, I, I, I understand it. Yeah. I'm not against it. Serious question, Evan Can Beto win Robert, the Democratic Robert. Party? Because we're up to 20 now. We're no. up to 20 contestants in the old Democratic primary. No, I, this is kind of a classic move, I think, for you, you get guys that want to jump into these races. They know they don't have a shot, but ultimately what it does, it increases their individual brand presence, and it sets them up for uh, another, another role, another role yeah. within the new administration or something other, an appointed position of some kind, typically is what they're doing with this. So all this is is just marketing for your next job. Yeah, that's what politics is. Yeah. He's just marketing for his next job. So he's doing. It's like Hollywood. You climb the ladder. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's I, I understand. a shitty speaker, though. God, he, he admitted he doesn't. He doesn't. Or at least he he admitted. I didn't even didn't uh, go through my speech before I went out and did my my speeches before I went to these events. I'm like, man, it showed. You probably should have practiced. Just, it, <laughs> you know, maybe sat in the living room with your family. Yeah, I like, don't know. Just something a little bit more than yeah, nothing. It's like taking and a test. And then admitting that yeah. you're like, yeah, ah, you know practice. what, I'm not really like, taking this seriously. No, if you take a test practice. and you get an A, you're like, yeah, I didn't even study for that. But didn't if you get study. a fucking D, like, oh, yeah, it's clear you didn't study. Yeah, no, no, it's yeah. very, didn't study. Yeah, no, it's very evident. Apparently. Oh, my uh, God. So with Biden jumping in this week, again, we're at 20. Who comes out of this, Evan? I love Biden, man. I love Love Biden. Like if 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 I were a guy, well, wait, I am. So, <laughs> Fake as a guy that wants to watch this election Fake and news. just sit back and eat popcorn and be thoroughly entertained, you have to have Biden. He is yeah. pure entertainment. Yeah, that, Biden's that, the guy. He's not going to get butt hurt about what Trump says. He's just going to go back at him. Oh yeah, and say him. ridiculous shit. He's, he's going to be. You can't, I can't believe what Trump just said. He's like, ah, oh, Trump. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> and, and, if, yeah. and if you think really, that, he was you, the guy that said this is a big fucking deal about the healthcare thing. Pretty much got hot mic'd on it, but he knew he was doing it. He didn't even cover his mic. He's wearing a lapel mic. Yeah. yeah. And he leans over and says, "This is a big fucking deal." Like, yeah, thanks, VP. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. He's he is pure entertainment. Yeah. It's 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 going to be so much fun to watch. You this. can just play mariachi music over the B roll of all the candidates, and that's yeah. what it's going to be. <laughs> and and he is such a creepy dude. Oh, like yes, there yeah. are thousands of pictures <laughs> of that guy. That. guy like touching women inappropriately Young and making children. people super fucking uncomfortable Can you everywhere that, he Dave? goes. It's Shoulder just, rubs. It's Joe, just weird. Joe yeah. Biden kids. It's no, just, just uh, weird. Joe, kids. Joe Biden creepy. Creepy. Creepy Biden. That's that's what we need to really just kind of. Ah, uh, there it is. A compilation <laughs> Joe Biden creepy being Biden. creepy. Creepy Biden. <laughs> How old like, is he? He's got to be, what, 70s? 74, I think. He's actually 70? gotten younger since the 80s. Yeah, really. He, he looks better it, it, no, than that, he did in the eighties. Evans correct. Like he does. Stem if you cells. Go, I will say this. If you go back to the seventies, he was a fucking pimp. Yeah. This was a guy who was used to getting pussy on the reg, and yeah. he's not stopping now. So this whole creepy compilation, that's been going on since back in the day. This guy was a fucking great A poon hound. Yeah. Ooh, a poon hound. Yeah. yeah. Poon yeah. Hound. I like that. Yeah. I think he's got I think he's got oh, a decent hey, shot. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Whoa. Look at him. Whoa. Look at him. Oh. Is that his wife? Man. No, no that's, that's, oh, that's somebody else's that wife. That is not yeah. Dr. Joe Biden. He wow. did the double shoulders, rolled down. That, right was, a, the ear. that, that is a, a classic scrape. move. Yeah. That was a cheek scrape of, of yeah. the hair. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Oof. Oh, this, this is. is yeah, we got to include oh, the link. This is going to be We've so gotta much fun. We got to include the link to this. Yeah, just or just, just Google if you're an audience Biden, member at home. Man. Google a uh, compilation of Joe Biden being oh, creepy he's a close talker. on YouTube, and you can find. Oh, uh, he's a pet, very close talker. Pet peeve. Oh, yeah. I hate close talkers, and when I finally oh, have a step yeah. back, yeah, Mr. Hands over here. Yeah. Yeah. Is that his wife on the right? Is that his wife? No. Oh, oh, right. Look at the finger he's holding. Oh, this him and Clinton. She's would, missing a tooth. Wow, when they're going out, uh, I can just. He imagine. obviously doesn't have standards. No. Whoa, look whoa, at him. Whoa, He's just like that's a little girl. Look yeah. at she's creeped out too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's like, like yo, bro. bro what what you she's like, she oh, oh, he went in for the kiss. He went in for the kiss kisses. on a child. Oh, Why does your oh, penis oh, is Goria? He's sniffing her hair. He's sniffing her hair. He's a hair sniffer. 
know that he one. He definitely has no standards. Oh, that was Hillary Clinton. Oh, God, yeah. That was Hillary this Clinton, is... ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's what I'm saying. This is going to be epic to watch. This is They're great. going to mine his entire history. This Do you remember that watching... scene from 2016 where uh, Trump came up behind Hillary and was being all creepy and weird, staring her down as she was giving. What yeah. if Biden walks up behind Trump and smells Does his that, hair? Yeah. Oh, oh, that would be, be great. great. If Biden were to smell my oh. wife's hair like any of those, I'm going to break his leg with a leg kick. What, what I want to see Secret is Service. But I want to uh, see. Oh, no, he's not president yet. <laughs> not yet. You know? I want to see a Trump-Biden ticket. Oh, and yeah. just for those two guys to just turn the White House into a frat house. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking go for it, man. Well, you know, I am like, here for like it. spray paint National on the wall. National Lampoon's like, Trump Biden 2020. Yeah. We're going to burn this place down, man. God, Fuck yeah, let's hilarious. go. Oh, that would be amazing. Or Van Wilder. Van Wilder's yeah. Trump Biden 2020. Yeah. How about that? So do you, th- do you think he comes out of this, out of the 20? Is, is Biden your dude? Who am I going to vote for? No, 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 not vote oh, for. Just right, who do you right. think is going to come out of that bloodbath? Oh, I think it's going to be Biden. I really do. I think that what is he? He's about five points ahead of anybody else. Bernie, in this. yeah, yeah. He's it's about him five and Bernie points. right now. Like, Bernie are... doesn't have a fucking shot. Democrats know that. Like everybody wants to say that the younger generation is going to have uh, a huge impact in the next election. They're going to have these turnout numbers that are going to sway it. It's like at the end of the day. This is going to be about the middle of the voting party. Who's going to appeal to the swing vote across the United States? That is not Bernie. He doesn't have a fucking chance right. in hell. Not a chance in hell. D'Anthony, who you got? Uh, Biden's going to win the Democratic That's a big call. Sure. There we go. That's a yeah. big call right it's, there. It's, uh, to me, it's not a big call. Like, I would have said the same thing about Trump in 2016. When's the nominee in the nation? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my. What? Jared. <laughs> Are you having a fucking stroke? <laughs> Are you no. stroking out? Hey. I'm sober. His mercury levels are fucking <laughs> off the charts. My mercury right levels are high. Uh, we just got 30 pounds of fresh dolphin meat. <laughs> so July, July of 2020. Uh, oh, primary, 2020. The, 2020, the debate year. starts. Yes, the debates um, start in June. And then the actual. Not this June. Correct. Okay. No, no, no. This June, the oh, debate starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're two months away from the, yeah. from the debate starting. When's the nomination, though? 2020. Yeah, so yeah. July. This August. is going to be a year of nonstop. It'll be August. Just Democrats going at each other. Depending on how it goes, usually the last primaries are in August or September. It depends on how soon you wrap it up. I mean, I'm also, I'm I'm excited for just the comments from, like, the governor of California and AOC. Like, when they jump in and make comments about people they're backing, it's just going to explode. So who do you think is going to win? I don't know. He didn't know how to say the word nomination. No, not at all. So why are you asking him anything? What do you think? I mean, Pocahontas? But, but, but you think it's again, Elizabeth Warren? No, I mean, I mean the Ooh. Democrats, are, they're coming after you know the whole controversy last year about rigging it, or a few years ago about rigging it. Like, who knows what's going to happen this year? What if Russia gets involved and, again... If they do, yeah. I say they go for Bernie, just to tear the country apart and go more <laughs> socialist. Dead serious. Because then you give AOC a bigger voice. And then you're going to start asking her on a fucking daily basis what she thinks about the world. I mean, if we're which right, kind of doing now. If we're right and they're trying to destabilize, the best way to destabilize would be to do something crazy as fuck. Yeah. And people are used to Trump by now. Like yeah. the hate for him it's is just normal. It's consistent now. It's not as like hyper as it used to be. So I think I think we've settled else into in. a new information, just kind of a steady drumbeat of just standard hate. Yeah. Okay, you know, so like, here's the, the, the real question. Wait, real though. quick, Matt, who you got? I don't. I don't care. <laughs> but if you had to pick right now, out of all these fuckers, mm. I'd say Biden too. It's probably yeah. my, that's my best guess. I want to. Are you at? Elizabeth? Warren. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go Bernie on this one. Oh dang, guy! Yeah, all I'm right. gonna go Bernie. Bernie. So we'll mix it up a bit. If yeah. Bernie I wins, think the it's because of Russian collusion. More and more socialist. I think Russia gets more and more involved. I think that AOC crowd and these younger voters who are actually going to the fucking primaries <laughs> and voting are leaning more socialist, and that's let where me, I think it's going to fall. Let me let fall. me throw this at you. Uh, if I'm Russia. I make it obvious that I interfere and make Trump win because that way people yearn for socialism. They want to, like, what if Bernie had been elected? That's when they can move in their ideology. It's not like getting Bernie Uh, elected because then we have to actually experience socialism, and everybody knows that's fucked. Yeah. Well, Venezuela seems to be doing all right. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Here's what I want to know. The question I'm asking is... Is anybody out there tracking the whereabouts of the the famous girl from the day it was announced that Trump was elected that does the the crying? You know, it's me. Oh, yeah, like yeah, a thousand yeah, yeah. times. No! Yes, exactly. Where, Where is, is she, she at right now? Yep. Because we need to have coverage on her 
for this next election. She's she working, just sold all of her cats to Forrest Griffin. She's working. <laughs> I guarantee you, she's uh, working a white collar job somewhere and doesn't even notice that Trump's president. Probably like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Like, like everybody. It has. Yeah. It's had no effect on my life. Congratulations, folks. You think she's still single? <laughs> if she is Ugh. not, if she is not single, then. Sorry. Uh, let's her. get to the next one. The Gambino family boss, Frank Cali, got gunned down at his house. Um, That's pretty badass. Staten yeah. Island at his mansion. That's pretty badass. And after they gunned him down, they got back in their car and then drove over his lifeless he, body he, in his front he yard. Knew it was coming. I, look, well, this if you live that old life, you got to respect shit that. Here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I miss this. I, I miss don't... this about the mafia. Like, I want to see people get killed like this. Oh, yo, you miss violence wow. in the street? Yeah. Like, if, if you're going to do the mafia and, and do the whole fucking thing, why not be consistent of what it was for 100 years? Yeah, I mean, that's some gangster shit. Getting gunned down outside your house in a very nice neighborhood, then re- driving him over, leaving tire tracks on him How and the lawn or whatever. How old is his wife? Yeah, let's say, let's say coffee companies. Let's say there was a big competitor against Black Rifle Coffee. And you guys had gang-style warfare. How would you do it? Like, wouldn't it be a boss move just to drive over him afterwards and be like, cool, Black Raven Coffee? Now you're dead in your front yard. In your fantasy world, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not yours? I don't, I don't even think of it like that. I think it would be – because that's it's so, it's so overt. It's yeah. like – it, it's just kind of – there's nothing to that, man. No, there's no planning. No. There's no sophistication. Trolling them it's over like, several on. years would be way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, like you want to ruin somebody's life. Getting you don't want to like, check like themselves ending it into is just so anticlimactic. Like, you want to put this person into a position in which they wish they were dead, but yep. they still have to live. Right? That's yeah. that's where you want this to go. <laughs> you, like, this what is if, like this is this is it's just kind of lame. Yeah. What, if, yeah. what, what if all yeah. gang wars took place in the comment section of YouTube? <laughs> oh, Just people oh trolling each other back and forth or making videos talking shit. <laughs> that would be the ultimate, wouldn't it? Like if uh, YouTube would monetize it, they could make more money doing that than they can hustling in the gang, right? Shit. Uh, possibly. Potentially. Right now they're going all G rated content. Oh, so we'll yeah, see. see. Is that, that what's they're pulling really stuff rolling? down left and right? I, over I there. think where my where my head goes is like, you know, how do you separate the person from their family, right? Then inject yourself as the former father and role model to their children to then when they call you dad Mm -hmm. and then completely deny that their father was their father, (laughs) that's when you win. That's the long play, sophisticated move. Sounds like you're talking about my wife again. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Man, I can't. I'm going to have to. Uh, Is my lenses? Make Jesse's husband great again. Make Jesse's husband great again. Oh, boy. He's already great. I believe freejesse.com is... uh, (laughs) website. Like to donate to the cause, freejesse.com. Free Jesse, make her husband great again. Have you heard the theory that uh, he was run over by a smart car and that it was operated? (laughs) Hey, relax. An AI car. Relax. An AI car. AI car. (laughs) So he he was run over by an AI car, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And the AI car had hacked. We found out this week that the sex robots can be hacked now. Yes. So the AI car hacked the sex robot, who was the driver of the AI car. Drove down the street, lit this dude up, then drove over him and left. What was the method of killing? Was it? Oh no, de- the, death the sex by robot orgasm? shot him after no. the car accidentally hit him. Yeah, that was the thing. Yep. Is this oh, was that's... an accident, and they just didn't want yeah. the AI car didn't want bad rap. It's a for, fucking for hitting up. another this, person. Got this it. conspiracy goes all the way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> this is the corporate heads of the sex robot industry. Boeing is probably involved somewhere yeah, in on this. Yeah. <laughs> With AI cars, place. like this is what's going the on. The sex like, robot wake industry up, is up. under attack right now. Houston yeah. was supposed to have the first sex robot brothel, and it was halted. By and whom? By the the city government of Houston. By the Ethiopian Airlines jet. Yep, the person that, that, that knew about it was a smart jet. Yes. In. yes. This is it's all connected. We well, need, they were only sex ro- we robots. We need to on the look Ethiopian at the passenger flight. list <laughs> of the Ethiopian Airlines flight because yeah. this doesn't add up. No, yeah, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't add up. It really doesn't. Uh, and I wonder what the weather was like. And also, stay tuned. Again, end of the show. Topless Stacy will be Top giving us that weather. Um, we're really looking forward to that. Next up, uh, the U.S. now officially has more millionaires than Sweden has actual citizens. America. How is that America possible if Trump is not making it great again? It's math. Is, is how it? it's possible, yeah. T- tell, ex- explain that. How well, many you see, the, you see on the board up there, 2 plus 2 equals 22. That's it's, right. new ma- it's new math. 
Is new man. Yeah. I'm so combining new, numbers combining instead of numbers. adding them now. Gotcha. Gotcha. How many people live in Sweden, Dave? Six pull million, that up? 14, Don't tell them how to Google that. Six to 11. <laughs> I'd say 12. 14. No, it's like 6 million, I think. 14. 14 people. Ooh. 10 million. We were all, right. all wrong. Good. Ten, But there's more than 10 million millionaires? There's only 330 million people in America, right? How is that higher than that now? Yeah, I think it's like it's how many 60. people in America. It's three twenty-five, I think. Well, I think yeah, it's, it's right. It's right around there. Yeah, You'll close. never get the correct count with with all the illegals, obviously. But you know, is that is, is yeah. that true? Oh, ten point eight million. million. They yeah. have more millionaires than Sweden has population. Wow, that wow. is absolutely true. I don't that know that many fact. millionaires like on a daily basis. You don't? No. Yeah, but do you really know? Do you ask? Yeah, are you asking people? If I, somebody I, has I one to two million dollars mm. is. What? <laughs> <laughs> I judge off of Instagram. Judge off of Instagram. Like, okay. If you see your buddies in a private <laughs> jet, like I have some friends that are always in the yeah, Bahamas. That's not and a all millionaire. I assume they're millionaires. Where it's just like, yeah. hey man, no one has time to go to the Bahamas twice a month like you do. <laughs> in, a, in your own Cessna, you taught yourself to fly. Any friend of mine who's teaching himself to fly and bought their own Cessna, like that's not something that a, a thousandaire does. That's something that a millionaire does. So I would assume maybe two or three of my friends are. But 10.8 million millionaires seems like a lot of goddamn people that are millionaires. That is a yeah, lot but, of people. But to find millionaire in 2019, one million dollars like that doesn't really get you far. I mean, it does, right? Considering, but a million dollars 20 years ago was a whole different fucking ballgame. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we have to consider inflation. In inflation this. for sure. We also yeah. have to consider what what is and a also million, define a what is a million is that, dollars is that liquid, in Sweden? Is that liquid assets or what's is the exchange that... rate? What's the exchange rate between American and Sweden currency? <laughs> oh, oh, here it all that... comes back to the alien exchange rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we covered. What that does it mean? That's not how you ago. spell Sweden, Dave. God damn it! USA Sweden. They're not too Sweden. Sweden. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! All right. Wow. Well, Ten Whoa. cents. Ten cents. Eleven cents. Well, that's a, that's cents. Eleven cents to the ones. dollar in Sweden. Huh? That's definitely eleven yeah. and not ten. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, he's on that new math kit. So I guess that's the real question because the headline seems big, but in all, all reality, what are they measuring? We'd have to dive into it. Yeah, say, but no say, one say, is even say, is even talking about Kylie Jenner being a billionaire right now. Uh, you are. You, you are. You yeah, just you did. just you just did. Speaking well, of so which, is Forbes. she's the sorry. So she's the yeah. single. She's uh, the youngest, youngest. They claim self-made billionaire. billionaire. Yeah, but what is self-made? It's, uh, it's like yeah. this: your sister releases a sex tape, and then you, you capitalize you all really on social popular. media, yeah. Yeah. inject your lips and ass full of collagen, and then you take selfies and sell uh, makeup products. And boom, yeah, because I did. I dove down her Instagram. I'm going to start doing because that. I wanted to see if, like, maybe she was creative at making content for her makeup. She's not. No, she's not. She's not. not a, no, she's got a team of people who make that shit, that. and it's she's just her name. She's yeah. great at being hot. 147 million followers God, on, Instagram. on Instagram. Don't yeah. ask me how and I know that number. And they eat it up. Yeah. They eat it up. I want to follow mm. the world's greatest egg because that the world record egg. That thing's dope. That's pretty God, funny. Let me. Let me. Who did still that? going. Do we know who did that. That is really funny. No. No. Somebody started it. Yeah. You um, know that, Evan, about that? I don't know. So Kylie Jenner had the most liked Facebook, or excuse me, Instagram photo of all time, and then an Instagram post just posted an egg, and that was it, a, an egg that looks like a free-range egg. egg. It said, let's beat the most liked photo of all time on Instagram. Boom, they got it. I think it's, what's the amount of likes the, on that the thing? The egg has... It's like fucking oh nine point seven. Go, you know, go, go to the, the original though. post. Yeah, do you have Dave. the original post? No, go. No, no, no. Back to that. Go page. back to that guy. Scroll down. Scroll down to the original one. There and it that is. first one. That's it. Fifty three million likes on that egg. Wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. That is a good looking egg, though. Yeah, it, it is. is. We tried to get him for an I mean, interview, they but his publicist a, wouldn't. Yeah, let they well, took. But a, this is the real fucking news here. Is it? Is it hard boiled? Or not. Like, we need to know this. We don't know. I mean, that could be a stock photo, right? They didn't even take that picture. They might not have. Wow. But what do you do? What do you do with 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 an Instagram account about an egg? That's it. You're you turn an egg it. into a football. Yeah, you're looking oh, at look, nine. They're posts. like helping starving children and shit. Is that oh, Julius Dean? Go go to that go to that one with the kids right there. That's Julius Dean. It right. is the magician. Yeah, yeah. I Maybe, bet you he paid to. I wonder if he uh, if he's the one behind it. He's kind of a troll. Oh, they actually. Really? Uh, yeah. Look, they have a website. Too. I always feel weird when white people go to Africa like that. Team. Like they're saving the village. And they save always they're saving them with worldwide. magic. How about food and medicine, homie? Uh, yeah, it's weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm getting something right now. 
Nancy Pelosi is trying to lower the voting age. Oh, oh. to 16. 16 years old. No. This is this is just no. insanity. What are, here, your, here, what are your yeah, what are your thoughts on this? I think it's fucking stupid as fuck. No one is 16 years old and knows what the world's about. No one. I agree, but no doesn't one. this help the Democrats because that's their whole thing of like don't well, you yeah, feel because that they way they inject the school. Yeah. 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 It's, it's just it's probably a step forward to try to get a younger market to vote. Like that's all it is. Will this ever happen? Fuck no. I would say no. Yeah, I don't think so. That's either. ridiculous. Who would it I see sixteen year olds driving cars and I'm like, oh my God. Get, yeah. get him out of that. I remember thing. being sixteen years old. I was yeah, a fucking and I was idiot. a turd. Holy I was a shit. Turd. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. ditching school, drinking vodka at like three PM. Yeah. Which uh, a lot no, hasn't no. changed. <laughs> uh, no, I was uh, I was microwaving a lot of hot dogs. It's same. So yeah. basically the same. Yeah. So that I mean, like, let's not... let's focus on something cooler. Like when we're sending fucking kids to go die in wars, at least let them drink some booze when they come home. Yeah. If you join the military, you could drink. It Dude, would solve it would solve our recruiting problems. I turned twenty one on my fourth fucking deployment. No lie, fourth deployment in the Ranger Battalion. I turned twenty one. Jesus Christ! You had never had celebrated. Had, you'd never had a. Drop I was overseas. Of yeah, no, but he had did, never yeah. drank at that point. Like, no, I was going out in direct action raids every night. I mean, I partied with fucking terrorist bullets. Did anybody bring you something <laughs> and say, hey, Mac, congratulations, you're 21. Can you I'll say? No, I mean, it was like three weeks before I got home and I got fucking shmammered when I got back. Can you say I partied with terrorist blood one more time? Yes, I partied with terrorist blood. <laughs> I don't know if good... I did get a kill or not on my birthday, but in this fake news episode, I sure did. Yeah. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, who's counting anymore? But exactly. Shouldn't, shouldn't there be... I. I Shouldn't there be a rational look at brain development and yeah. then responsibility based on what a person has accomplished in their life, like an application? At a minimum, there should be some type of what are you test. About? They're not even that's requiring like, people to have an ID. That's what vote. I'm saying. Yeah. Like this, this ID thing is crazy. Yeah. It's like, oh, you don't have to have an ID. Like, when the fuck can you not have a legal form of identification to do anything, anything. let alone make a change? In the United States, Here's the probably problem. one of the most important things we'll do. Yeah. Here's the problem. People having to go and purchase an ID from the government yeah. in order to vote is a poll tax, and it's constitutionally illegal. So they would have to give the IDs away, which I'm, as a taxpayer... So am I. ...subsidize yeah. it. I'll pay but, for that. But but I, I'm 110% on board with you. I'm not yeah. saying that you... I'm saying that we can fix that piece, oh, which yeah. is... Everybody gets an ID, and we just pick up the tab for it. Yeah. However, you do have to have an ID. You got to do something. Yeah, you have to prove that you're mm -hmm. an American citizen that has the ability to vote. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, you can change a million different things in this to make it more accurate. But you can't like say, "Yeah, nobody needs to require. You can't require somebody to have an ID." Hey, let's reduce it to 16. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let our all our pets vote too. <laughs> yeah. Let's have yeah. our dog and our cat and our but not Beto's whoever. Dog. Yeah, not Beto's. He's super yeah, he's that is a sad dog. Yeah. We don't know how much longer he'll be with us. You were so saying be uh, something about testing the dog brain power stuff. Beto. There, there should be there should be a test. Something. There should be a test required to vote you should have to have and it could be just super easy 10 questions about the united states how about how about the citizenship easy. test county but, do you live in but that immigrants anything. have to take to to get their citizenship just that like, test like 10 A basic plus 10 test. spell cat i don't care but there has to be some type of questionnaire there that limits the people because <laughs> right yeah. kt katrina cat Van Del Von D. Because I mean, I guess that could be just considered yes. yeah. discrimination <laughs> yeah. based on low IQ, but right. Well, yeah, but do you uh, want somebody with I mean, super low IQ voting? That's these are these are no, all really good. I questions. don't. We were at Walmart earlier. And you were at Walmart. Oh, I was waiting were. in the car because I did not want to go in there. No, it's you because did. you've been banned from that Walmart. That's. Can we be honest? Yeah. So I had to buy hairspray um, for yeah. this yeah, for this today. So good. I was at the Walmart. And I thought to myself, man, there's a lot of people in here who definitely should not be voting. Right. But we don't have anything in place to stop that. So maybe we, a little 10 question uh, USA test of like, hey, yeah. who sewed the American a basic, flag? A basic <clears throat> civics test. How many states I, are there in America? I also think you should have to answer at least three questions about the candidate that you're casting a vote for. Yes. I, that I think is that should absolutely be a prerequisite. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, just three and questions. it could be multiple choice. Two, no, it'd have to be multiple yeah, choice. It's like three questions. Was this candidate a congressman, a senator, or is this their first run in politics? It's something. Like, uh, it, it doesn't even have to be about their background because that's somewhat arbitrary. It has to be something about, about what their they're trying like to their do. Their yeah. 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 And if you get it wrong, it doesn't even allow them on. No, your they, they can't. They can't vote. Yeah. All they're this done. sounds hyper unconstitutional, but in theory, you know. Hey. 
in theory. It would well, make the world a better let's go place. Back, let's go back to the uh, 16-year-old thing. So uh, when you see, just from a marketing standpoint, when you see companies that are specifically targeting people at that age, who, who do you think about? Beer, Pepsi? Beer Coke. ads? Mm -hmm. Cigarettes? Cigarettes, Joe yeah. Camel, that yeah. stuff. And during the, the process of those companies going to court, what did we find out? That they, there was an institutional push to ch like target people who are intellectually inferior Correct. like at a young age. And yes. get them thinking about and your brand yeah. or product. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what this is. And it's, well, it's so, it's not so transparent. Risk. It's cool so to smoke a cigarette like, Get the with fuck out of here with that shit. It's yeah, you can smoke cigarettes with your butt. So no, your buddies. buddies. I'm just saying, buddies. at 16, yeah. you're not taking a risk assessment as far as the consequences of smoking, right. lung cancer, and all the other. Jazz. And you don't pay you're taxes. Like, this is fucking cool. You don't pay I mean, taxes. If you're, no, unless you're paying. Well, here's the other thing, though. What about job. what about a kid that's working a part time job at 16 and is paying taxes? Are we fucking them over by not letting them vote? No taxation without representation is part Again, of the Constitution Again, I started working well. when I was like 12, and uh, mm -hmm. definitely that shouldn't have been voting when point. I was 12. It is, but should they be paying taxes? Should we should we charge a fourteen to eighteen or seventeen year old kid that can't you're pretty vote? much saying taxation without representation? It, yeah, yeah. You, you, that, I mean, that's it's a, a good point. I it's think... taxation without representation. So if you do have a part time job, if you are paying taxes, you know what? Why you shouldn't kinda, you be able to vote? Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah. You kind of have to default to that. I think they shouldn't paying be paying taxes because I definitely don't think they should be voting. Exactly. Free. So now you can get around that by saying if you're below a certain age, you don't pay taxes. What's that? Yeah. What's the impact on that going to be to the economy? Mm -hmm. Twelve bucks. Yeah. Yeah. We would be right? fine. Yeah, yeah. Dave, a lot fine. more gas and lunch money when I was sixteen. Can you see yeah. how yeah. many uh, people under the age of eighteen are employed in U.S. workforce? Boy, that is a big ask right now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is a big, big ask, Dan. He's actually doing it already. Right. No, no he good. is. I just feel bad. Stacy's over there, ready to do the topless so weather. But million. we'll get to that at That's the end of the to show. Nineteen, though. Uh, that's a lot. That's a good. How yeah. old were you, Jared, when you first had your first? Oh, show? There, there you go. There Click was. on that. It was go 15 back. and a half. 15 and a half. What would you do? Uh, it was McDonald's. And you really? got you got fired from that job. Whoa! Huh? Yeah, I did. I totally got yeah. fired. Yeah. How'd you get fired? Uh, they locked the doors and interrogated me and then told me to leave the property. No, 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 that's no. not the reason why you got <laughs> fired. Why were you interrogated? He said, How did you get fired? Yeah. Why oh. were you interrogated? Uh, there was a lot of money. Missing money things. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Are you real? stealing money oh, yeah. from McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> After all these years of you loving McDonald's, hey, man. I'll give you this. When I was them? 16, I worked at Albertson Grocery. I worked there for like since I think 15 on for about two and a half years. And I may or may not have paid for my lunch sandwiches. So, right. I listen, I, I, I was just, <laughs> I knew what was going on and wasn't saying anything. I see what you're I'm saying. I'm not a rat. Yeah, you're uh, not a rat. Not a rat. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. And they tried to trick me mm -hmm. by saying, we're talking to you first because I was the youngest. I was like mm -hmm. 16 and a half. They're like, we know you know what's going on here. And I'm like, ah, what are you talking about? I was just doing dishes. And I just kept saying I was doing dishes. And then you said, snitches get stitches. And then they were like, all right, them. get out of here. You're fired. And right. I was like, okay. And then I worked at Subway the next day. Nice. Dave, really? Yeah. I, Jared, Jared, then he got fired from Subway. Jared worked at Subway, huh? Jared, well, I didn't wear my name tag. You, okay, I got moved. How does Subway. that apply to the story? What? Because uh, I, wearing a Jared name tag at Subway in 2001, you know, you just get all the jokes. Oh, uh, five. Yeah. Was it brutal? Oh, every single person. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that one. Wow. Yeah. 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 It, it looks yeah. like on this chart, 231,000 between 16 and 17 years are in the workforce. That's not a lot. That's it? No. That seems very, very well, that's like average. Million. So it's let's average million. about twenty eight dollars per person. That's millions. roughly six point eight million dollars in tax revenue a year off of that. I think we could do without it. Yeah, I mean we could do without that by avoiding trying to prosecute cases on a budget of one point two million per month that is yeah. about Violence. bribing kids. Get the fuck out of here. Bribing colleges. Come on, guys. Bribing yeah, colleges. all right. Let's yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Next up, uh Dick's sporting goods uh, <laughs> officially moved today to stop the sale. Of all guns and ammo, thoughts? Uh, I think that uh, Bass Pro Cabela's is going to be super happy about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Dix's like, marketing department. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Dix. Dix's marketing department went with the 2019 move of how do we close all of our stores? Do you yeah, think yeah, they did. <laughs> do you think they're going to change the name to Pussies? Yeah, yeah. it should be Pussies. Yeah. Yeah. I like, feel like that's what the done. CMO did. They're like, done. Hey, guys, let's take our target <laughs> consumer and really piss them off and stop selling guns. Ah, that wasn't I, good enough. Let's stop selling 
selling ammo too. I think their I think their target consumer is probably like soccer moms and stuff like that. But it has I'm not. To be I'm now, not yeah. I they don't can do care. whatever they want. I love, I'm just I love here's, Bass Pro. Here's the thing, though. I love Bass Pro Cabela's. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm like, yeah, they just increase fine, their market share. Yeah. And all the other gun shops in America. Fair. Dude, shut down all those fucking big box anti-gun fucktards. Yeah. And give all the business back to, to, the, the, ones. to the FFLs that are running small shops around the United States. Absolutely. Just keep them coming. Here's a little, shut her all their doors. Here's a little stat for you guys. I like that. What's that? A dollar spent in the local market. Like a local purchase multiplies seven to eleven times before it leaves out into the larger market. Which means if you go buy stuff at a local hardware store, yeah. he goes and buys his stuff from another local person, and so on and so forth. Yeah, typically seven to eleven times before it leaves your city or state. I shop low. I pay probably two pounds or two dollars more per pound what are you, when British? I go shop. What? No, <laughs> like British? a pound of meat. I was oh, getting there before you pounds. interrupted I thought me. You talk <laughs> currency. I thought we're back on this alien fucking currency. No, conspiracy. I'm saying that I like to purchase locally. It's like my my thing because it's yeah. usually a little more expensive but it helps out uh there's this lovely meat market that uh george Strait actually shops at yeah. and the guy would go my favorite customer because they usually drop like 200 bucks on fucking meat I, they go on especially with Limit. meat all yeah. my yeah. purchases Cause you don't know yeah. where it's coming from sometimes to right? no, like walmart only. meat bro come no, on they're going no. to the cow auction and buying the yeah. fucking ones with cancer tumors cutting yeah. around them and say here's yeah, your skirt that. steak for i just don't cents understand a why we haven't spliced elephant jeans with cow jeans and made really big cows and then we could have big steaks with what jeans elephant elephant I, I, I don't see cool. anything that you said as being relevant or smart <laughs> um, or useful. This is fake to... news, though. It is. So <laughs> I think you. you're right. Yeah, that's Thank a you. really good idea, man. Why, why haven't that's we like idea. genetically modified animals to be a better food source for star? Like, I imagine thought we were if you had verge cow elephants and then we just like, shipped them to Africa and fed all the fucking starving I children. I saw a I, documentary when I was a kid called James and the Giant Peach, and I thought we were on the verge of really inflating. That the is yeah. could, one of my favorite documentaries by you could all. turn the Amazon rainforest in if you genetically modified <laughs> some of those trees into trees cow, that produce cows. cows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you can pick trees. a cow up a yeah. tree like yeah. a, like a no. miniature cow and just package them up. Is oh, there yeah. a reason why we haven't you been know? doing this? I, no, there's no reason. Can you there's imagine? No or a deer and a cow fuck called a moo deer? Like, that's that's some good oh, shit. How yeah. tasty Boy. would that be? Mm. <laughs> the, old, the old moo deer. A little more marbling and venison would be or, absolutely wow. wonderful. Keep it inside the house and keep it local. Modify your, your, cat. your cat and a cow. And it's yeah. a house plant. At the end plant. of the day... Yeah, and it's a house plant. You just got to food water. <laughs> so I can put a bullet in that you thing and eat it, it up. Man. I don't think yeah, you put a bullet. Just pluck it. <laughs> <laughs> time for dinner. Time for dinner. <laughs> God, I am. Get out the bolt gun. Days. Time to eat, kids. Oh, God. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Let me blow. let me show you how to kill your dinner. It was about, <laughs> you, you, you'd never go less than sixteen cow cow cat plants. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like it's a cat cow, cow house plant. Is what it's yeah. called. Yeah. Cat cow house plant. That is a brilliant idea though yeah. would it and be then a, with the a leftovers you could smoke it and get high as fuck oh wow yeah, yeah. Right? Would, it, would it be a cow elephant this this cow elephant what are you calling that what are you I calling mean, this you new know breed? what I, i'm just saying it's an elephant sized cow Elecow? and i think i think could you imagine though a plate of ribs the size, the size of, of an elephant you would need one it would just be speaking of ribs speaking of ribs dolphin ribs are really good they are jason murph from <laughs> grow your ass off just sent me i'm not even kidding yeah. i'll dolphin we'll, seasoning it's dolphin yeah. seasoning from yeah. grow your ass off yeah. Yeah. go to grow your ass off.com promo code drinking bros 15 speaking of there. promotions nice. there's yes. a I drank some really good coffee this morning. Oh, what was it? Do you? It Is was it Black Rifle Black Coffee. Black Rifle <laughs> Coffee Company. It was really good. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee is a <laughs> premium roast-to-order coffee yeah, company. Uh, started, founded by yours truly, Evan and Matt Jared. I started roasting coffee in my garage specifically for the roast-to-order coffee subscription. The cool thing with this thing is this is the reason why we started Black Rifle Coffee, so we could have the freshest, finest coffee delivered to your doorstep and the other thing is when you join you get discounts for all our other partnered retailers what, that's why i don't buy it that often is because i hate making a transaction every time yeah. i want my coffee that's right <laughs> so yeah. i also don't want to have to go like to a, a store or the, if you when you join the club <laughs> you have your own facebook page you get facebook your own group. discount codes you have I think access it's drinking bros 20 for those out drinking there. bros 20 yeah yeah 20 oh, 20, 20. hot dog or or Lord Hot Dog, you can do that uh, on your computer, yeah. your laptop. Yeah. 
your your hard desk at home or a or a phone. There's also an app. Yes, on your yeah. phone. Listen, you know what I hate the most uh, about online purchases and is having to get up and go get my wallet. How do yeah. I how do I prevent that? You get yourself on the coffee club and it's automatically billed. You can adjust Stored. it at any time. You can adjust the amounts. You can pause it. You can shift your address. It's awesome. <laughs> do it's perfect. You, do does Black Rifle sell elephant sized cows? No, yes, they I, sure don't. There's a market so, for that. But drinkingbros.com okay. is soon going to be the largest importer of not only dolphin meat, but elephant sized cow meat. That's true. Yes. That's it's true. And we're going to be sea, serving actually. it on the pork, cruise. Pork of pork the sea. Pork of the sea. And it's these right shirts here. are real, by the way. The beak meat? The beak meat is really where it's at. Tastiest. It's right up here. Delicacy. Some people say the We should just call it an elk cow, right? Because it's kind of like, you know, south of the border. Elk yeah. cow. Yeah. An elk yeah. cow? Yeah, nice little elk cow. Well, elk cow? I Those will be served on the elephant. cruise, by the way. How good does an elephant trunk taste? Ugh. I've never had Very that. Very delicious. Should we start... Should we make elephant-sized cats and sell th- and market those to Chinese restaurants? That's Whoa. that's like a Whoa. lion. Hashtag trunk, <laughs> and trunk yeah. fuck people up. <laughs> trunk all the time. How about instead of Hashtag Taco Tuesdays, <laughs> Trunk Tuesdays? <laughs> no, the the elephant-sized elephant cat Tuesdays. is a great like military weapon. Can oh, you yeah, imagine yeah. throwing those? Like two fifty. Yeah, but yeah. I, like power power like I wouldn't release want the kitty it. Cats. I wouldn't want it to be. Long wise, the size I would want it to still be kind of stubby. So it's a cat though, but it's very tall, like an elephant. That well, I would love to see like tier one and tier two units yeah. start using lions or like jaguars on known HVD, HVT targets. Rad. That you get them in a cage and you just release. Like, I was can just you imagine that say, as a terrorist? It's or a heavy fucking dropping. lion or a jaguar <laughs> coming at you. I, I was just gonna say, what if we had shown up in the fall of two thousand one in Afghanistan with power llamas? Oh, and uh, fucking tigers uh, with uh, saddles uh, on them. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Instead of those horse guys riding yeah, around in the mountains riding, on horses, they, tiger, they would have been riding, riding giant tigers. How fucking intimidating would that have been? If you would have just released, let's say, 80 to 100 tigers, right, to start that war. Bengals, the ones in that valley that yeah. Joe Rogan talks about Ex- sometimes. Exactly. They've killed like 100,000 people over the last 200 years. What would that have valley. done? Yeah, it's a crazy amount of people. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, obviously you've got to shoot them, right? But they would. They, this, someone would be fast enough. They would get in there yeah. and kill them yeah. first, right? The problem with that is, it's like uh, a tiger is an area weapon. Yeah, but I think it's if not we a point. Splice <laughs> a golden <laughs> retriever with a tiger, where he's loyal to you or yeah. the good guys. I, mean, I don't buy. Why it. are it's, you it's always like trying bulls. to put two animals together? What yeah, is it? I don't want to put any fucking Moreau animals over together. together. Yeah. What's this about? I, we all know what he's going to be doing if he ever makes it really big and creates a. An ordinate amount of wealth. He's going to be on an island mixing species. Yeah. It's going to be super weird. Wasn't there yeah. a movie about that? Doctor yeah. Doctor Moreau, Moreau Jurassic, Park. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jurassic Park. Jurassic <laughs> Park. Well, there's my current documentary, Human Dog: The Experiment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which 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 will be at what Slam Dance in uh, 2022. <laughs> Looking real forward to that, yeah. uh, along with the doc from Dan Crenshaw. I fucking love this guy. By yeah, the way, yeah, he's so funny. He is the best. Like, he just won an award, the dopest congressman ever. Award. Ever, yeah. ever uh, of all that time. That is a Drinking Bros Fake News Award. We'll get his picture up over here. Like, yeah. Well, I'm awesome. a big fan of him. So he's a he's a congressman from the state of Texas, correct? That's right, correct. Yeah. What, what do we have to do to get him on the show? He keeps popping up every couple weeks. Not only is he funny and affable and a likable guy, but he just seems fucking cool. We're like you want to have a beer on, with him, we're right? You on. are. Yes. Okay. Great. I gotta admit, I wasn't a huge eye patch fan at first, and right. it's really grown on me. It's really grown on me. Speak for yourself. We should go to Eye Patch Fridays. You know? <laughs> yeah. But it, it takes just, a real man to wear an actually, eye patch. Does. Like. Always. Our next news show, we should all wear eye patches yeah. just in, you know, in right. honor of, yeah, in in honor honor of, of yeah. the right. dopest congressman ever award. Because yeah, he's exactly. a former Navy SEAL who was wounded right. in action and yes. lost one of his eyes. Like, commendable American right there. Good shit. Yeah, Very and this is, good. I'm being serious when I say this, because I asked him if he was swapping out the eye, and you said yes. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's got a Navy SEAL he's got, Triton He's got a Triton in there now, yeah. That's that's amazing. I like, think when he starts campaigning again, he should have his campaign flyer on the eye. Right. Or just an American flag or Either like way, an Uncle yeah. Sam or you I know? think uh doesn't our old guy Cavasso's have an American flag? Yeah. For yeah. his eye. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. It looks good. I've seen him before. You like have, an actual American flag. It's weird. You can there just you kinda go. pop it in and out. There yeah. you go. What is that? Yeah. That's, that's the seal trident. The trident. Wow. Look the at trident that. Eye. Is I, he gonna run for Senate? He's got to be. He's got to, right? Yeah, he's he's going he's gonna to run for sure. Because Cruz is going to be there, man. That's the uh, Captain America one, by That's the way. That's pretty dope. Oh, he put in a Captain cool. America? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. 
Man, that's great. What's uh, how old is this guy? How old is he? Thirty five. He just turned really? thirty five yeah. yesterday. Was his birthday actually? So happy happy birthday to Dan Happy Crenshaw. birthday yeah. to the dopest congressman ever award winner. Exactly. Yeah, is there, let me ask you this: Is there an age to run for Senate or 35. governor? Oh, it is. Yeah, he's 35. Oh, so it's he's good because he could run for president at 35. Yep. 35 great. is the last. Yeah. I think you should vote for governor of Texas. Oh, yeah. That I think, I think awesome. you'll have that on lock. Who, who is yeah. your current governor here? I don't know. Uh, Harry? Harry? Jared, what happened to you? We just like, moved here. Uh, Rick Perry was. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know who the new Rick guy Perry. is. Luke Perry? It's yeah, Luke. Luke Perry. No, Luke Perry. No, Luke Perry. No, no, it's Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott. God, God, I've look, never heard of that guy. He looks like a knucklehead kind no. of. No. He's, He's white. <laughs> He's you know? kind of Imagine that. A white Republican. Yeah, uh, from Texas. From Texas. Yeah, pretty shocked yeah. about that, Greg. Um, yeah. two, two B's and two T's in Abbott. He is yeah, also a up. disabled very American. Up. I feel is like he, uh, he is. Oh fuck! Now I feel like yeah, an asshole. Is he really? American. God yes. damn it, Evan! No, no! no. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. Greg Abbott is a hero. Yeah, and I'm he's, a dick. He's a hero. I feel I like apologize. he's getting greedy, having two B's and two T's. That's in what I name, said. Though. You don't go. Yeah. You don't go two like, B's go and two or, T's in Abbott. That's, that's a lot. I know. Is Christmas Abbott spell her name like that? Uh, let me check on that real quick. Look on that. let's get it. Let's get an update on the spelling of Christmas Abbott's name. We should also have a traffic alert with Christmas Abbott. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, it's A-B-B-O-T-T. two B's, two T's. Uh, your update on Christmas. You know, she's doing good. Yeah, she's yeah. doing good. She, she looks she like she's do doing the traffic great. from her car. She yeah. looks like she's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that too soon? Um, we love Christmas Sabbath. We'd love yeah. to have her back yeah. on the show. She was a great guest, by the way. Yep. Yes. She's uh, jacked. Really fun. You could have dated her. I guess that's you just how you her. spell she her said name. that on, on, on air. Huh. Oh, wow. Nice. She said that on air. She did. And, and she said. I was serious about the date. Uh, Jared invited me on a vacation, and that's when I decided he was not a serious person. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's true. But the yeah. fact that she really did say genuinely, yes, I would have gone out with Jared which is Taylor. A, which is way out of the ordinary for her because she's typically into, like, fitness people, I would imagine. Yeah, right? like attractive, like fit, fit, motivated like, yeah. individuals. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Smart. I mean, nice. I could thoughtful. Do, watch a... Seminars, seminism. Yep. Oh. <laughs> that got was all right. To semen. That was really got it all semen. right. I could, I could like expert myself yeah. real quick. Yeah. 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 So we could talk yeah. about you know bumper plates and stuff like that. Like the bars. English language you has it. escaped you <laughs> what? today for some reason. Yeah. Um, Howdy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's gonna throw in the towel hey. on language. Howdy. You, I'm good. Uh, next up, Brexit got blocked again. What the fuck is up with these people, Dan? I don't know. Here's the problem with this. It's been like. Two Two and a half years since the people of England voted to leave the EU, right? Right. And there's supposed to be a roadmap for it. Parliament's supposed to figure out how it goes and then implement the plan. Well, it's basically uh, the left over there is just blocking it constantly. That's what it is. They're just punting constantly with, with what would be continuing resolutions here. Right. People are familiar with something like that. And, I mean, it's, it's the Labor Party. And they just keep fucking pu- punting and punting and punting. They're trying to avoid it. Well, which is today, it might the be EU's another two trying years. to build an army, aren't they? <laughs> what? I don't. Oh, this is real. No, they Didn't are. they just announce like a month no, ago they want an EU army? It's it's an AI EU army <laughs> full of sex robots. You're right. <laughs> really? Yeah, they are. No, They're building this, that. This army. happened last month. I'm They're, not. I'm not they lying. Are. Aren't no. they try- Didn't they say Germany started it? They were like, we want an EU army. Oh, they you know, started it twice. You got to be a little bit but... careful with Germany starting <laughs> like. Yeah. Military stuff. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like. They, they tried twice. They have a good track record on that. Yeah. You might want to give that one a second look. <laughs> uh, next up, AOC, your fave. Your oh, fave. AOC. Rolled up to a climate change speech here in Austin, Texas. Yeah, South, South by South by Southwest. Southwest. In a suburban. Oh, wow. Um, you know that's... who I don't listen to are people who are anti-gun who are surrounded by people with guns to protect them. Right. Fuck them. And I don't trust people who are anti, uh, you know, fossil fuel who show up in private jets and suburbans. Yeah. Shut the fuck when up, You're trying AOC. to change people but unwilling to change yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Be the change you want to yeah. see in the yeah. world. Now, AOC. if she would have rolled up on a bike, yeah, eh, that all would right. make sense. Yeah. You know what? You know, give it a shot. Maybe a Segway, Segway, Prius? Segway, yeah. smart car, or like a a, a, a electric car. Yeah, or you know? a sex doll, even a te- or a sex or a sex doll, doll driving sex a smart sex a, robot and, and an AI car. They're close. The sex robotisms are close. Like what would be cool is if you had a sex robot that was also a car. How do their mechanical The Mercury Mistress yeah. is an old Saturday Night Live <laughs> sketch. Right. Like, no but shit. 
They have rotating features Dave, too. That look are that up. Mercury okay. Mistress Saturday Night Live. No shit. <laughs> I've got to see this. this is it was great. the the. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Mercury, Mercury mi- mistress. mistress. Explain this to the audience. So what is basically, it? what it is, it's a Saturday Night Live sketch from way back in the day, two thousand seven. Yeah, believe. and the car basically where the uh, the logo on the back of the trunk would be was a pocket pussy. <laughs> oh no, it's oh, where the, it's where you put the gas that's in. Great, right? Well, where you would have put the gas in in a very old car, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, this it, was when SNL used to be good. Yeah, you remember I how remember it was funny that. at that? Yeah. That yeah. Weekend? Oh yeah. See, look at the way yeah. he's touching Why the hood. Why is he touching there? the car like that? Oh, you're gonna, you're yeah. gonna see. Fuck it. So oh, this is good, man. This he's is really, really gonna fuck good. that car, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, oh, there man. it is. There, oh, yeah. Saturday Night there Live, is. man. Yeah. It used yeah. to be funny. Dude. It used to be great. This is good. Yeah, you do that this these is days. Really they would fucking ask, good. I know. They would, they would ask SNL if the, used to be great. If yeah. the car gave, did the car give permission? Consent. Consent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with yeah. AI now, you need you know artificial intelligence consent. You do. Mm-hmm. You do. That was and, an actual argument. <gasps> yeah. That was an argument in the no, Houston. No, I love just making shit up because no, somehow it's an argument. No, that was current. real. Yeah, that was yeah. real is is part of the Houston uh, outcry and craze over the sex robot brothel. They said these dolls do not give consent. There's, no, a, real, no. there's a really funny really? part of this video. Uh, there was a follow-up to it where another guy was banging the car, and the guy showed up and got all mad. <laughs> oh, John, uh, John, I'm so going to have to watch this car? later. It's super yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you, let me ask you this. If you had the option... And no one would ever know except for you to have that car. Yes, no. Would I fuck the car? Would you? Does fuck it the provide car? like fuel? Do I get to go somewhere after I fuck the car? Mm. Yeah. Does it run off like biofuel, like semen specifically? Yeah. We. I mean, because then yeah, your wildest dreams a here. A thousand miles per centiliter. That's, <laughs> that's really weird. What? I don't even know if a centimeter is a, a thing, actually. Yeah, it's a hundredth of a liter. Yeah. It is. That's real. Yeah, yeah, Jared got one thing right today Thank uh, you. on the yeah. news that, that was real. I'm almost a scientist. Yeah, because then you could mm, go out and basically. fuck your car and then tell your wife, hey, I had to. We, yeah. You've got to fill it you've up. You've got to. Yeah, the average person is throwing at least 14 to 18 centiliters out. You know, That's, that's what, probably not true. That's 14 to 18,000 centiliters. There's no way that's true. What about... Uh, car pregnancies. Oh no! Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Because then you can <laughs> create other cars. Why they didn't... You could turn into a car factory. What, what, exactly. <laughs> that yeah. might be why they didn't. So they didn't stupid. allow this to go into production because you can't. When you have a natural birth of a car, there's no VIN number. Oh, that's yeah. true. And yeah. then you have to yeah. assign one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's super. It's like I mean, children. It's, it, it's yeah, fucked up. it's 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 almost <laughs> worse. You know, it's carist. The car industry. Carist, yeah. The car industry would never let this happen. No, no, because those factories would all shut down. This is big auto. They're run by yeah. AI. Anyways. Big auto. Big auto stopping Listen, us from fucking cars. In 1978, cars. there was a NASA scientist that invented a method of charging batteries by breaking, oh. harnessing the energy when you break your car. And then he had an idea for an electric car, and he mysteriously died. What do you mean, break your car? Like, like press the brakes? Was, yeah, did, he work, time... did he work on the uh, Clinton campaign or something? <laughs> did, you, did you see recently? <laughs> Are you talking about an alternator? <laughs> no, 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 no. Did you recently see the tweet from somebody that, that was like, I'm letting you know I'm not suicidal, uh, in good health. Like, this happened, it was yesterday. Who was that? I don't remember, but I Somebody saw Somebody yeah. that spoke out against the Clintons <laughs> recently. Everybody, I am not. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm like, not suicidal. I would highly suggest anybody that goes to work for the Clintons, <laughs> hey, put those out daily. Can we look like, at what Dave... Just to protect yourself. Just right. just like, yeah. I'm not suicidal. <laughs> I'm really... Hey, guys, I'm being very careful. I'm not going to get mugged. I'm not going to commit suicide by shooting myself in the back of the head. Yeah. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. So the conversation is Hillary Clinton... Bill Clinton murder people, right? Correct. Someone made a tweet because they spoke out against the Clintons and said, hey, I'm fine. And Dave, the tweet from somebody. He, that's why you fucking Google. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's Dave no way Google. you typed in the tweet <laughs> the from tweet somebody into Google. From somebody <laughs> oh, boy. into Google. <laughs> it's fucking gold. Oh, and with that, uh, sorry, shit, we are out of time, actually, wow. for Stacy and the oh, Topless Stacy. we went too long. We topless Stacy. We will try to get to Stacy next to, week. Uh, sorry, she's right there. Yeah. 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 Yep. Hi, Stacy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Stacy. Stacy, yep. you look. We great. will try again next mm. week uh, for the topless weather with no, Stacy. No. 
What? What? He, he's making obscene gestures. It's not at Stacy. Not yeah, appropriate. Was, just in uh, general. Uh, look, you know what the, the the HR department's like here. She's the contractor. She's Stacey. contractor. She's here voluntarily. Hi, okay. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy's nodding. She's okay with it. So let's. Yeah, All right. Good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for Matt Best, Ross Patterson, Evan Hafer, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, Jared <laughs> Taylor. It's not the real news. It's the fake news. <laughs>